how's everyone doing today? Uh, now, pardon me for it has been a while since I did upload last, but, um, yeah, I just was being lazy, couldn't really get around to it. But let's, uh, let's jump right into this. This is my HQ video on the Blue Fisted Wog, and, uh, yeah, well, let's go from smallest to largest. So first off, right here, we got our, uh, Goblin Shaman. Nothing too fancily converted on him. Let me try to move back a little bit. Maybe a little bit better. Um, but yeah, he's blue war paint all over him, of course, blue fist. And, um, yeah, snow battered cape. And then, that's kind of how I got the, the blood trickling down right there. So, that is, um, that's just a goblin shaman. Don't really have a name for him any names, so uh, please tell me, but let's move on to named characters. So Razagorgut is my lead shaman of the Blue Fisted Wog. Uh, he'll of course have uh, Lord of the Big Wog, and yeah, he is a level 4 mage, and he looks pretty gnarly. Uh, now, if you are new to Warhammer, um, or, you know, haven't been really um, around that long, uh, you probably haven't seen this model before. Even if you have been out there for a while, you probably haven't seen this. This is, or what was, part of the old Savage Orc Command. He's a metal model, and he was actually the, um, he was the standard bearer, and I thought, you know what, let's, let's make him a mage. And so, that's what Raza is, he's got his lucky shrunken head with him, and just, I think he looks really cool, I think he fits the part. Uh, he's the reason why it's the Blue Fisted Wog, because he has that blue fist, and I like to think that, you know, before battle, he just paints up a good portion of the boys. Of course, probably these gabos like him, would help, you know, with the busy work. But anyway, that's the mage, and now let's, let's get to the piece of resistance in my army. My favorite conversion I have, well, yeah, my probably my favorite conversion I have ever done. Which is the guy right here. So this right here is the war boss. And what's cool about him, if you haven't noticed, is he is riding a wolf. Now this is a Thunder Wolf um, from a Space Wolf set. Very awesome model. But I thought, you know what, I really... I'm going with the snow theme, and what goes with snow? Wolves. So, I patched him up now. There's a lot that I had to do with him, uh, but it wasn't hard. So first off, you'll notice that he has a bone jaw. Uh, the wolf itself has a bone jaw. And this is because right here, there is a cybernetic jaw on the original model. So I just took uh, the bone jaw from the Savage Work set. Already comes with it. And I just put that on. I think it looks pretty pretty awesome on him and put that on both sides and it kind of just I don't know it seems orky it seems amazing it's just it's just awesome next up um on him he had just a little bit of him missing right here where you see a skull now I could probably do some detailing on the skull but just put that in there with some green stuff can't really tell it wasn't there before really satisfied with how that looks and then we had to, then I had to put on the orc himself, so he comes with a little saddle already on, I mean, you could shave that off, but I left it, I like to think that this is the war boss, he can, he took like an Empire Guy saddle. Then, all that I had to do was cut his leg, um, can't really tell if you can see, you know, you can kind of see right there, uh, look at his leg, you can see a little pink right there. And that's where I had to uh, cut off his leg and put him with some green stuff, just so it looked a little bit nicer. And then on the back of him, if you can see that, I put some... Uh, wait one second. I green, some, green stuffed up some fur, uh, because that was originally lizard man skin, and I don't think they would come across any lizard men. Because I don't like to think of these as a mobile... Well, they're a mobile tribe, but they're not, you know, realm-crossing too much. And then, 
yeah, that was pretty much all the conversion on him. Uh, I really like how the model looks. Uh, it flows really nicely, in my opinion. Of course, that's just my opinion, but, you know. Uh, let's see, can we... Good luck. I like how it looks like he's turning with the wolf, as if, you know, they're kind of coming around and they just circle around. I like to think he's, like, maybe on a rock or something, looking down on whatever poor, unfortunate soul has, uh... Have they come across? I'm not sure what the rules would be for him. I'd probably just say it's a boar, but, you know, fluff-wise, this is a... He's on a wolf. Um, yeah, I, I really like the look, the feel of him. I haven't based him yet, and I don't have a name, so if any of um, uh, you guys has an idea for Savage Orky names, tell me. But, yeah, so that's... That's him, and that concludes my, uh, Savage Orcs command. Or my Frost Orcs command. Now, so yeah, that's them, and then that's pretty much it for today. So, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, please comment. All, uh, all stuff is necessary, or all comments are necessary, you know, so I can improve and stuff. Tell me if you want to see anything else, or if you have any ideas for a cool frosty conversion. Alright, till next time. Bye.